Hello everyone, this is Ace Marip today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the beauty retouch Photoshop tutorial and how to do that. So this one is our photo. I made it like uh, this one was our previous image and I downloaded this stock image from the devena.com and what I have done here, let's see what I have done. So here at first I applied a uh, like a filter that is the skin finer and i have the another video tutorial about the skin finer you can watch that out and you can learn it and here i use that and after that i use a dodge burning and applied the dodge burning nick and then finally i added a preset from the camera raw filter and i got this type of like uh, output from this photo so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification here my image and press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer and after that go to the filter and the photo toolbox and skin finer this one is the plugins for the photoshop and i have that detailed video link in my video description please check it out you can download from there you can learn uh, detail from there so here uh, I here is two panels actually three panels skin masking skin detail and skin tone so I want to use the skin masking I will use the skin like detailing here amount of smoothing and the fine how fine will be and if I zoom it in you can watch it properly okay and here the hue if you increase this it will be like that and here the saturation I will make the saturation like that yeah here is the difference between before and after and brightness i'll increase the brightness a little bit and the contrast as well so it will be more artistic or lucrative and here shadow if you need you can adjust the shadow and highlight as well so and saturation and hue i'll yeah that's fine that's good and here the amount of sharpening or smoothing and other stuffs and hit the ok button so you are getting the image which is like uh, smoothing of skin and then press ctrl j and j to layer to copy of this layer because of i want to make it uh, like shadow and highlighting that is the dodge burning process here uh, this layer name is highlight and this one is the shadow so shadow i'll turn just back here and highlight and shadow this one and turn off the shadow layer select the highlight layer and go to the blending mode and make it screen after that right press blending options and from here here is the underlining layer and press alter and place here it will divide and adjust the light to the face so here the face yeah actually you are getting like that and hit ok button and then mask this one and go to the image and apply image so hit the ok button and after that turn on the shadow layer and this layer i will make it uh, multiply and then blending options from here we'll get uh, underlining layer over here find out the shadow area of the face and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light to the face and shadow and hit ok again mask it and image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok so you got two layers and i'll select these two layers and make it group and after that mask it and image and apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you are getting like smart like light and shadow and other stuff if you need you can change the opacity and select these two layers and make it group and make it merge now i will apply the hello after that go to the filter and camera raw filter this filter is a plugins of the photoshop and those who are the user of cs version they have to download this one and set it up manually and those who are the user of the creative cloud version they can get this one free of cost and automatically by default in your photoshop version here all the panel is same here is the big options tone curve and sharpening or detailing and hue saturation split toning and everything so at first this one the basic options i'll uh, decrease the highlight a little bit and add some shadow and here is the temperature and tint i'll make it a little bit warmy so that's fine and the clarity i'll make it up so i'm making it zoom so after that 
here the sharpening amount of sharpening i'll increase sharpening and luminance as well and then the tone curve rgb and blue tone curve i'll make it a little bit too like that like honey type color so here and the red as well so that's good and the rgb options you can adjust this one so from here split toning i'll make it split toning like this so yeah you have to choose a perfect color tone for this photo and here the you split yeah that's good so this one is good for this photo let's see the before one and after one yeah i just making it the color correction for the beauty look for this photo so from here i will add some dehaze option and amount of vignetting and shadow i'll increase for this photograph actually the beauty shot you need to add the shadow for this photo and here i'll decrease the saturation it will make more sense for this photo and then here the camera calibration you can adjust this out or you can make it like normal so i'll adjust this a little bit so here but i'll decrease the saturation yeah that's good and i'll save this one for you guys and you can use this thing that means the xmp file for your photography purpose so i'm saving this one uh, in my folder that is the ut retouch and hit okay so how could you use that preset in your photograph suppose yeah i'm suppose this one is your photo and go to the filter and camera filter before that you have to install it manually or your version cc version you can get this one automatically from here load settings options and beauty retouch just open it up you'll get automatically in your photographs so that's fine and now i'll make another copy of this layer just because of i want to make a more amazing so go to the filter and uh, neat collection color effects pro this one is another plugins of the photoshop and you can download this one uh, free of cost please check out my video description for the download link and you can install it uh, in your photoshop and you will get lots of presets and actually the filters in this options that is the google nick collection color effects pro 4 so from here cross processing and here are the methods you can use one of them which one you want to apply so i will apply here l03 or you can use the l02 l03 is good and hit okay so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and it will be more amazing than the previous so let's see the before one this one and after one you are getting more amazing and artistic and the fashion look in your photograph so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon until the next video i am asmr signing out today and if you need to download any kind of things relevant with the video please check out my video description today bye bye